Hey guys, my name's Andy, and today I'm going to talk about injuries and why certain players get injured more often than others. I'm aware that sometimes it's just bad luck and it can't be controlled. For example, Kawhi Leonard's injury against Golden State in the playoffs. There wasn't anything Kawhi could do to prevent that, so that's just unfortunate. And obviously, genetics play a role as well. Some players are just more gifted than others when it comes to their body structure. But at the same time, there's still a bunch of things that players can do to help prevent some injuries, especially non-contact ones. In this video, I'm going to talk about knee injuries specifically. To get started, we're going to take a look at two players who are both athletic freaks of nature with similar body types, Russell Westbrook and Derrick Rose. I'm going to start with Derrick Rose. Rose has had four knee surgeries since 2012, but he suffered all of them without any contact at all. Nobody hit him or ran into him or anything like that. He usually just gets injured from landing awkwardly and putting too much stress on his knees. Recently, I discovered a video that compiled a bunch of plays where Rose is unknowingly damaging his lower body. For example, look at the way Rose lands after he dunks. When he was young, he developed a bad habit of kicking one of his legs out and then landing with all of his force onto the other leg. Additionally, Rose has a habit of landing on his heel when he runs, which really overextends and stretches the tendons and muscles in the leg. Research has shown that this type of pressure can lead to bone fatigue, weakening the knee and causing the person to be more susceptible to lower body injuries. Over time, all of the stress that Rose puts on his knee adds up and ultimately leads to a knee injury when a ligament eventually pops. Now let's look at Westbrook. And yeah, I know Westbrook has been injured a few times in his career, but keep in mind all of his injuries were because of unfortunate contact. He had a knee injury in 2013 when Patrick Beverly collided into him. A broken hand because he got caught in a jersey and a broken face because his own teammate Andre Robertson ran into him. However, to this day, Westbrook is still an athletic freak who has a similar playstyle to Rose. But how come he never suffered the same type of non-contact injuries like him? The answer is Westbrook has some amazing running and landing mechanics. According to Dr. Romanov, an expert on running form, it's way better to land on your forefoot when you run, instead of your heels. When you run and land on your forefoot, it presents a very dynamic body position moving forward with acceleration by falling forward because gravity supports it. It creates more elasticity with your muscle tendons, and reduces the impact of tension and stress. Basically, what this is saying is that players who run and land on their forefoot have a much lower chance of getting knee injuries than a player who runs and lands on their back foot, or their heel. Over the years, Westbrook has developed a habit of running on his forefoot, basically on his tippy toes, which relieves a lot of the stress on his knees. Therefore, he's never suffered the same type of non-contact lower body injuries like Derrick Rose, who runs on his back foot. And this type of stuff applies to pretty much everyone in the league. In an article by Henry Abbott of ESPN, he compared the running mechanics of LeBron James and Dwayne Wade. We all know LeBron has never suffered a major injury in his career, while Wade has had problems with his knees forever, even in college before he removed his meniscus. In the article, it stated that the reason why LeBron never gets injured despite being 6 foot 8 inches tall and weighing over 250 pounds is because he has mastered 4 foot running. D. Wade, on the other hand, has been running on his heels for his entire life, and that's why his knee issues will never go away. I'll show you guys some clips. If you noticed, every time LeBron goes for a chase down block, he starts slowing down and running on his toes before he goes up for the block. This type of running puts very little stress on your lower body muscles, and it's another major reason why LeBron never gets injured. Tim Duncan also has some great running mechanics. He always runs and lands on the front of his foot, which is why he had such a long career. Now take a look at this clip of Jonathan Simmons. When Simmons goes for a chase down block, he plants the heels of his feet very hard into the ground before he jumps up for the block. Now I know that Simmons hasn't had a major injury, but he's also relatively new to the NBA and doesn't have as much wear and tear on his body. If he continues to run like this though, then he'll likely experience some knee issues later on in his career. 
So recently, I saw some videos of Dennis Smith Jr. playing in the Summer League. For those who don't know him, he was the 9th pick of the 2017 draft by the Mavericks. He's insanely athletic and kinda reminds me of a young Russell Westbrook. However, the way he's been landing after his dunks are really scary to look at. Look at this clip. Once he finishes his dunk, he lands really hard to the ground with his left leg. And now look at this clip, it's even worse. He puts his entire body on his left leg when he lands. Honestly, I'm surprised that he didn't get injured after that play. Smith definitely needs to change up the way he lands, or else he might become injury prone very quickly. Now let's take a look at the biggest victim of poor running form in recent history, Jabari Parker. In his first three seasons in the NBA, he has already tore his ACL in his left knee twice. Some people might say it's bad luck, or that he's overweight, or he has weak knees. Those things might have a little to do with it, but I think the main problem is the way he runs. Parker looks like he's literally stomping the ground when he runs up and down the floor. I've never seen an NBA player run like that before. It's almost like he's wearing heavy metal boots when he's playing. This puts way too much stress on his heels and leg muscles, which as I talked about earlier leads to instability and bone fatigue around the knees. As much as I hate seeing players get injured, sometimes it's not really a surprise when it happens. Parker is still very young and he has a long career ahead of him, so he has a lot of time to change his running mechanics. LeBron is a good example to look at since he's a similar height and weight as him, so Parker should model his running form after LeBron's. And that's pretty much all there is to it. When it comes to injuries, running and landing mechanics are very important to consider. Of course, many times, players just get injured just because of some bad luck or some of their body parts are genetically weaker. In one of my other videos, I talked about how Gilbert Arenas got ruined by injuries, and that all started with an unfortunate accident by Gerald Wallace. On the other hand, look at Brandon Roy, for example. He had problems with his knees because he has degenerative arthritis, which can possibly be a genetic condition. With that being said though, some injuries can be prevented. It's just a matter of correcting some bad habits, but it's easier said than done. And that's all folks, thanks for watching, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.